Hello everyone, welcome back again to Military TV. In today's episode, we're going to discuss how effective the Phalanx Sea Wiz is against the incoming threats from missiles. So, stay tuned for more detailed information. Historically, the Sea Wiz was created as the final line of automated weapons defense, terminal defense, or point defense against all incoming threats, including high G and maneuvering sea skimmers. In 1973, the U.S. Navy received the first prototype system for assessment on the destroyer leader USS King, and it was concluded that more work was needed to increase performance and dependability. Following that, on board the destroyer USS Bigelow in 1977, the Phalanx Operational Suitability Model successfully passed its operational test and evaluation. The model outperformed the requirements for operational maintenance, dependability, and availability. Following a successful second review, the weapon system was licensed for production in 1978. In 1980, the aircraft carrier USS Coral Sea became the first ship to be fully equipped. And in 1984, the Navy began installing SeaWiz systems aboard non-combatant ships. Taking into account the evolution of threats and technological advancement, several configurations to upgrade the Phalanx system has been developed. The Block 1 upgrade in 1988 offered various improvements in radar, ammunition, computing power, and rate of fire. Their improvements were primarily intended to increase the system's capacity to defend against the emerging Russian supersonic anti-ship missiles. So, how is the Sea Wiz working anyway? The Sea Wiz has an effective range which is relatively short compared to the range of modern anti-ship missiles, ASMs, from 1 to 5 nautical miles. However, the gun mount moves at incredibly high speed and with great precision. The Sea Wiz only needs minimal resource from the ship, which makes it capable of functioning even when there is an event of potential damage to the ship. On the other hand, the Sea Wiz is also complemented with two antennas working together to engage targets. The search subsystem feeds the SeaWiz computer with information on possible targets bearing, range, velocity, direction, and altitude. This data is evaluated to decide whether the SeaWiz system should engage the detected object. However, the SeaWiz system does not recognize identification friend or foe IFF, because it only has the data it has collected in real time from the radars to decide if the locked target is a threat and to engage it. To be considered as a target, the Sea Wiz has its own criteria. First, it oversees whether the target is approaching the ship. Second, whether the contact has the capacity of maneuvering to hit the ship. And third, whether the contact is traveling between the minimum and maximum velocity. For the last part, the operator can regulate the range of minimum and maximum limits of the system. Given the way it works, how effective is the SeaWiz against missiles? According to the feature built in the SeaWiz system, and considering the fact that SeaWiz is created as a last line of defense, the answer is it is not substantially effective in countering the incoming threats from highly modernized missiles. First of all, the SeaWiz will not prevent the ship from being ruined by the missile. The attack of the missile will not stop just because it has been torn into pieces and bits, and these tiny bits will continue and crashing into the ship. Secondly, there will be a significant problem arises in the event of multiple missile attack. While the Phalanx Sea Wiz can levitate and cut across almost its entire field of fire in around one second, this does not imply that it could instantly track and hit whatever it sees. The last one, the rapid acceleration of technological development which has given birth to hypersonic missiles or weapons five times more than a speed of sound, will seriously outpower the Sea Wiz. As you may already know, hypersonic weapons travel across miles at inconceivable speed. Hence, it would be extremely difficult to defend against. Besides, other than hypersonic weapons, there are still many ASMs which are capable of bypassing the power of Sea Wiz by numbers, speed, or agility. That concludes why the naval fleet cannot entirely rely on its survivability to the Phalanx Sea Wiz. Yes, and that will be all for today. For more interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.